What is up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sauce McSaucy and today I'm going to be going over how to use Trigger Fire to enable point redemptions on your stream that have video effects and things like that coming up on screen for you to be more interactive with your chat. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go over to Trigger Fire and we are going to take a look at that. Alrighty, once you get to your trigger fire, it'll look something like this. You'll need to log in, link your Twitch or your YouTube or whatever you're using up to it. And you'll have the option to use images, videos, sounds, OBS, or groups. Now, whenever you look at the videos, which is usually what people want to do, let's take a look at the stream crash one that I made last night. I looked at yesterday, right? So you have your video here. You can go ahead and select a video. I have a few that are uploaded already, but if you wanted to upload, you just hit upload, select your file and do it that way, making it a lot easier, right? So I already have my video in here, so I can go ahead and exit out of that. But this is what I want to appear on the screen. Have like a nice little stream crash. Now, what you have to do, you have to make sure that your web, re your point redemption is titled the exact same thing that you have here. So I have it labeled as stream crash right here. And if we go over to my stream manager and we scroll down to your viewer rewards and go to channel points, manage channel points, you'll scroll down and I set it for, I believe 2000 channel points. I set it for 1000, but you can see it says stream crash, right? Now, my recommendation on this is to put a limit to how much can be used. You have cooldowns on it. Like it can only be used once per minute on my stream because I don't want it spammed repeatedly over and over and over and over. I'm actually going to also put a limit in redemptions per user later. But for this purpose, I'm not going to put that on there first because I want to be able to show you guys how to use it. Now, we have that linked up the way we want it to. We go ahead and hit save. You're gonna click on this paperclip right here, copy link. You're gonna go to your OBS. You're gonna create a scene. The scene I'm, as you can see, this is my just chatting scene for my stream. But if you scroll down here on the side, you're gonna see that I have trigger fire listed as a scene that I've inserted inside. And to do that, all you do is you hit the plus arrow on your sources and you go ahead and click scene and you scroll down to trigger fire and put that scene inside of this. You're gonna want this scene in every one of them that you're trying to use. That way, whenever you have someone that redeems something, you scroll down on your point redemption. We go to where it said 1000 stream crashed and I wanna redeem that. So it's automatically showing. Now you can do this with multiple different types of videos, but this is the easiest way to go ahead and get it started. But make sure you only add one trigger fire scene instead of adding multiple sources every single time you do it. Because if you do it that way, you'll have repeated sounds, repeated redemptions. I did that the first time and that was definitely detrimental to what I was trying to do. Um, if you guys have any questions about how to do this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will link trigger fire in there and I would be glad to uh, show you guys how to do everything. I'm also going to leave an invite link for the Discord that they have set up for Trigger Fire. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am a streamer over on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Sauce McSaucy. I stream Monday through Friday from 2 until about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you guys there, and y'all have a fantastic day.